I know people think about Wagner and it's automatically, you know, oh gosh, it's that thing, it's 45 years long and it's loud and all of the things. It is not short. It can be very loud, but in the spinal tap, turn it up to 11 awesome kind of way. <laughs> in Wagner and this is why whenever I worked with young singers who are just starting to look at this repertoire I tell them look at the orchestral score there are not just moments of bombastic acoustic you know assault <laughs> but there are moments where there's nothing happening in the orchestra and you as an artist have to take those moments to whisper because without the moments that are quiet the moments that are loud mean nothing the thing that's cool about Wagner aside from the music is that it's epic storytelling. Wagner is through composed. You're not getting any repetition of text. So basically you're going in and you're hearing a story told to you with an awesome, you know, movie music score underneath it. And what's cool to me about Wagner, even before I started singing it, is that sometimes I kind of would not pay attention to the music, but I was so involved in the story and that's his amazing gift. He was a brilliant dramaturg. He, he was able to tell two different stories at the same time. He would tell you the story with the text, and then underneath it, he'll tell you a story that has nothing to do with the text, that is about something completely different, but he uses the music that was attached to it. So subliminally, you're getting something else. That dude messes with your head all the time. It's totally worth the ticket price. <laughs>